Hello everybody, this is Donna Miller with Miller Crafts. Today we're going to create a robot birthday card. We are going to learn how to do masking today and we're going to learn with some alcohol inks for the background to make a really neat background. So stick around. I'm making this card for my nephew who's going to be five. So I went ahead and stamped out the robot and the sentiment. Both of those came from close to my heart. This is what the stamp set looks like. This is a hostess reward and it's the dynamite birth date stamp set. Now for the five that did not come in the stamp set. So what I did was I created a five off camera and I just traced around it. And then I just use a fine tip black marker. So we are going to put a mask around the robot. So I cut this out on my brother's scan and cut. And you're just going to try to line it up as best as you can. This is sticker paper. It's from Avery L. You can get that at any kind of office supply store. So I'm just putting the mask on there. And then I'm going to bring in my stamping platform. And the stamp set came with a balloon, but I really wanted the five on there since my nephew is going to be five on his birthday. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I use this ink for the robot and the sentiment and the, the five um, because I'm going to color with alcohol markers. So when you color with alcohol markers... That's the kind of marker ink you want to use. So what I'm going to do is I ink that up and then I'm just going to take this little cloth here and wipe away the parts that I'm not going to want. And I'm going to try to make sure that's nice and dry before I press this down. And so what's going to happen is this is going to go on top of the robot so it's going to look like he's actually holding the balloon string okay so that's what it looks like and then i'm going to pick off very carefully the robot itself so then you can see it looks like he's holding the string so I really like that. So you can mask this. I cut this out with my brother's scanning cut. There is no way I could cut that good by hand with scissors. And so I just keep my mask on my... I just keep it right on top of there. And then I can use the mask again the next time. So we're going to color this with alcohol markers. And I'm using Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. When you're using this marker set, if you use Spectrum Noir, I highly recommend that you make a color chart for you because the colors on the caps do not always match the colors on the marker caps. That is definitely one of the things that I don't like the most about it.
now that we have that all colored in, we are going to put this aside and get out our alcohol mark or not alcohol markers. We're going to get out our alcohol inks. So we're going to start on the background now. We have alcohol ink. This is foil tape sheets. It has a sticky background and we're going to use a lot of these different mixatives and a lot of these need shooken. Uh, so if you listen, you don't hear anything. So you got to keep shaking until you can hear that ball going and then you know that it's shaking up good enough. So I want to have a grunge scene on here. So I'm just going to put a bunch of different mixatives on here. So this one is rose gold. This one's gunmetal. Try to keep the lids together. You really don't want to mix your lids when you're using alcohol ink. So try to keep the lids together with your color that you're using. This one here is gold. And this one here is silver. So I'm just gonna put lines across here. And then the last one I have is just espresso. This is just a plain brown. It's not a mixative, so it doesn't have the glittery shine to it. So I'm really going for an industrial grunge look. So I'm just beating this across here. So really, I'm liking the colors. It's very metallic looking. It's making me feel like I'm in an auto body shop, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to let this dry. It's going to take a while to dry. And then we're going to run this through our embossing folder on our cuddle bug. I really like the shine on there. So we have our cuddle bug right here. And I have this really cute gear embossing folder. This is from Darcy. And I'll have the link to this on my blog. So if you want to see where all the materials are at, just look at my blog. This is a cuddle bug. I don't recommend buying a cuddle bug right now because Cricut is not going to be making any more. They are discontinuing the cuddle bug. And I don't know how easy it would be to get accessories or plates for the cuddle bug. So I would probably look elsewhere. So I'm gonna run this through the machine. I have an A plate and a B plate down and then the embossing folder. And then my other B plate is on the top. Okay. All right. So we're going to kind of take a sneak peek at it before we pull it off. Oh yeah, that looks good. Yeah. So I don't need to run it through twice. I'm learning with my machine. A lot of other people run it through twice. I don't need to with mine, but you can see, oh, look at all the gears on there. So that looks amazing. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this card together. Here's one last look of that embossing folder. It turned out really good, shiny, it looks industrial, and it comes with its own adhesive backing. So we're gonna go ahead and take off that backing. We won't need any glue for this card. The only thing that you need to watch out for, and this is just probably the, this embossing folder, is this corner right here. It looks like it wants to come off because that's how the embossing folder got really close on that one. All right, we're just going to press this down here. Try to line it up as best as we can. And now we're going to put our sentiment on there. I went ahead and put this on foam tape. So we're just going to lay that down and we'll take a look at the inside there. So the inside, I went ahead and replicated that foiling also, and it says gear up for a great birthday, hashtag happy birthday. So I hope you really like this card. So thank you so much for joining me today. Please click subscribe and hit the bell to get notified of future videos. 
And I also wanted to give this a special shout out for pause, dream, and enjoy.blogspot.com for having a contest that I actually won the robot stamp set. So thank you so much for joining me today. Bye now. Mm -hmm.